Hello, good morning, and welcome to or welcome back to Life Lessons with Sheila. I'm so glad that you have joined me today. If you're new here and like what you hear and see, then by all means consider subscribing. While you're at it, if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that notification bell and select all so that you can be notified anytime I go live, which is returning daily very soon. Upload a video, share a short, or lend encouragement on my community tab. Let's hop into today's video, shall we? Five steps to flip the internal switch from a negative mindset to a positive mindset. In our daily lives, we often encounter situations that may lead us down a path of negativity. Our thoughts, words, and actions can be clouded by the challenges and adversities we face. However, God calls us to rise above these circumstances and embrace a mindset of positivity and hope. By consciously choosing to focus on the good, we not only improve our own lives, but also draw closer to God and reflect His light into the world. Gratitude in every circumstance. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Choosing gratitude transforms our perspective and aligns us with God's will. By focusing on the blessings in our lives, we have an automatic shift in our mindset from what's lacking to what's abundant. Take a moment each day to thank God for little things, a kind word from a friend, the beauty of nature, or even a warm meal. This practice can turn our hearts towards joy and away from negativity. Melody Beattie once said, Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. Start by keeping a log or a journal. If you don't want to invest in a journal or fancy pens, every cell phone has a notes app. Just start a new document and start listing three blessings of the day. I challenge you to do this in the morning when you first wake up and again in the evening right before you go to bed. Doing this simple activity for 21 days will transform your life in such a way that in many ways will look completely different, not only to you, but to others as well. Speak life. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 18, 21. Our words hold incredible power. Speaking positively not only uplifts others, but also reinforces a positive mindset within ourselves. Make it a habit to speak words of encouragement and hope, especially during trying times. By doing so, we mirror God's love and grace in our interactions. Mother Teresa once said, Kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. Again, at the time that you're journaling your three good things, take a conversation that you may have had that didn't go well or as well as you wanted it to, whether it be with someone else or even and especially one you had with yourself. Flip it around. If you constantly tell yourself you cannot do something, guess what? You never will. If you tell yourself that you're feeling ill, guess what? There have been studies that have proven that you can prolong an illness by the words you speak over yourself. Stop speaking yourself into a hole. Start speaking yourself onto the top of a mountain. Embrace forgiveness. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. It's Ephesians 4.32 Holding on to grudges or past hurts can weigh us down with negativity. Embracing forgiveness frees us from this burden and opens our hearts to God's peace. By forgiving others, we allow God's healing power to work within us, fostering a spirit of compassion and understanding. Louis B. Smeads once said, To forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that prisoner was you. Do you know that by offering forgiveness to someone who you at one time thought didn't deserve it will free you from the bondage of unforgiveness? Unforgiveness breeds discontent. 
discontent breeds temptation, and that temptation can bring sin into your life. Sin that festers and forms blisters into your life. Blisters that take forever to heal, if at all. Fourth, cultivate hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. Hope is a powerful antidote for negativity. When we place our hope in God, we are reminded of His promises and His unending love for us, even in the darkest of times. Hope can light our way and guide us towards a positive outlook. Hope is being able to see that there is light despite all the darkness. That was said by Desmond Tutu. An ounce of hope can be a powerful force. Maybe there's no actual magic in it, but when you know what you hope for most and hold it like a light within you, you can make things happen, almost like magic. It's a glimmer of light in the dark world. And lastly, practice mindfulness and prayer. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. It's Philippians 4, 6. Being mindful of God's presence in our lives helps us stay grounded and focused on the positive. Through prayer and meditation, we connect with God, bringing our worries and fears before Him and receiving His peace in return. This practice helps us remain centered and open to His guidance. Mahatma Gandhi once said, Prayer is not asking. It's a longing of the soul. It's a daily admission of one's weakness. It is better in prayer to have a heart without words than words without a heart. Being in a constant state of prayer opens a whole new world. Many people struggle in their lives because they only go to prayer when things seem obsolete or hope feels inconceivable. It is the daily conversation with our Creator that breeds life into our lives. It helps us to see things in a whole fresh new way. By adopting these five practices, we can turn away from negativity and embrace a mindset that brings us closer to God. Remember, every thought and action is an opportunity to reflect His love and grace. Let's choose positivity and be a beacon of light in the world. If you want more inspiration into digging into discovering how to apply more of an attitude of gratitude, I will link up two playlists of two separate podcast series that I have done on this channel. One is a 10 episode podcast series called Flip the Switch to a More Positive Mindset. And the other is a 31 day episode podcast series called Gratitude Challenge, Breaking the Lucky Girl Code, 31 Day Journey. Those will be linked down in the description box below. And I thank you for joining me today. I hope that your Thursday is absolutely beautiful and that it's full of many blessings. Actually, I think it's going to be your Friday, not your Thursday. Silly me. Shows you how far behind I am in my mind. I'm already a day, a day behind. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. Have a fantastic day, and I hope that your Friday is as beautiful as you are. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!